Hi guys, in this tutorial we will create a living room scene using Blender and Eevee. So this will be a real-time rendering tutorial using Blender. So if you want to know how to create all the assets like the sofa and the um, TV and TV stand and the tables and all that stuff, I recommend you go ahead and check out the previous videos in this playlist. Okay, so in this tutorial I'm simply just going to bring in those models that I created from the previous videos and create a scene out of it. First of all, removing the light. So let's right click the light and just delete it. We'll make use of this existing cube and we'll just change around the dimensions of it so that it looks like a typical room. So tap into edit mode and let's move this up on the z-axis. We hold down the control key to move it right onto the ground plane. So this x-axis over here. And we also want to make the uh, ceiling about two and a half meters high. So let's go ahead and select this face by changing this to face select mode. Select the top face by clicking that. And then let's move this up on the z-axis. So let's just move it up a little bit, but we want to move it exactly by 0 0.5. So that is 2.5 meters high, which is a typical height of a living room. The width and the length is totally up to you. So for my case, I'm just going to make it maybe 5 meters. So let's go ahead and go to scale. Select these two faces on the opposite side and let's scale it on the X. Hold down control to get more fine grain control. And let's go about halfway like so. So that's one, two, three, four, half plus half. So that's five meters. And on the width, let's make it maybe four meters. So hold down control. Oops. Like so. I think that should be good enough. Okay, and now let's go ahead and throw in some windows. So for the windows, I'm just going to go ahead and add in two loop cuts. So go to the loop cut tool, add one over here, and we'll maybe add another one over here. And let's go to the move tool and let's move it in place somewhere over here, maybe. Like so. And let's go ahead and add in some loop cuts over here. And let's change the cuts to two. Let's go to the scale and scale it up on the z-axis somewhere around about there finally i'll go ahead and add in another loop cut over here and also over here so go to the select tool alt shift select this loop as well let's go to the scale and let's scale it out on the x-axis like so and then finally we'll go to the face select mode select this face and shift select this face and then we'll just simply delete just the faces only so we have the place for our windows okay so as for the the room itself i think that's that's pretty much it that's the model of our room so let's go ahead now and give this room a bit of thickness so for the thickness it's quite straightforward tap out of edit mode go to the modifier panel go to add modifier solidify and that will just give your room a bit of uh, solid thickness so I might just move it out, maybe in the negative direction, around about that much. So we have some thickness in the wall. Yeah, somewhere around there would be good. And you, as you can see that it doesn't look like a perfect kind of thickness. It's sort of bending on the corners over here. It's not doing it perfectly. To fix that up, just tick even thickness. And generally that should be okay, but if you find that yours is still not looking right, you can also tick high quality normals and that should give you nice even thickness all throughout your room. Okay, finally we'll go ahead and move this camera in place somewhere inside the room, maybe over here. Let's just clear out the rotation fully. So go to object, clear rotation. So there's no rotation. And then now let's rotate on the X axis by 90 degrees. So, and then we'll also rotate on this blue axis by 90 degrees as well. So it's facing that kind of direction. Now, a, a useful shortcut key to zoom out and zoom in is by pressing G and then Z, Z twice. So G, Z, Z. Or if you're from America, Z. So I'm just going to the camera properties and for the focal length, I want to change this to 35. I think that's about, or oh, let's go even lower than that, 30. Since we're inside a small room, we want 
our camera to be able to see more of the elements. Rather than focusing on one kind of element, we want to sort of see the entire room area. So we need a wide field of view. So I just want to move this out a little. Um, maybe something like that would be good. Let's go somewhere over here. We'll play around with the composition later. Now I want to bring in all the furniture that I created from the previous tutorials. So let's just go one by one to each each of the assets. And what you want to do is just want to click your object and name it something useful. This is called a pillow. So let's go ahead and name it that. And let's just save. Then go to the next element. So we have coffee table. We have two elements here. So uh, either you can name these two and, and remember to append them correctly, or you can put them all into a collection by selecting both of them, right click, move to collection, and you want to create a new collection, which we'll just call coffee table. So let's go to the next one, the TV stand and the TV. So we have both of these named quite well. If you want, you can go ahead and add them to the collection, but I guess I'll just append them separately. And finally, it's the sofa. So we have three elements over here. Uh, you should generally go and name them uh, accordingly, but I'm, I'm not going to really bother with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and select just the, the elements of the sofa, right click them, move to collection, create a new collection, we'll call it sofa, and let's hit OK, and then you should see a new collection being created there. Let's hit save. And I think that's all the elements. Yeah, that should be all the elements. Okay, so now let's go ahead and import them to our 3D scene. So let's go ahead and open up our simple scene over here. And let's create a new collection. We want to add all our elements just to keep things organized. Right click, collection, new. And we'll just double click that one and we'll call this one the assets. So now we're ready to append all the objects that we created from the other Blender files. So to, to bring in an object, all you need to do is go to File, Append, look for your Blender file. So let's start off with, let's say, the sofa. So double click that and go to Object if you just named it by object. But we created a collection. So we'll double click Collection and double click Sofa. And we have all the elements of the sofa over here. Okay, so let's just go ahead and uh, move it up on the z-axis. I assume they're relatively correct by scale. So I guess I'll stick with that. But this height needs to be a little higher. Okay, so that's cool. Well, what I'll do is I'll move the sofa to be the other way around. So I can select these three and move it away. Or I can just right-click the sofa over here and uh, go to Select Objects. Then let's go to rotate. Let's move it on. Let's click and move this little blue widget just a little bit. And then go over here and type in 180 degrees to rotate it 180 degrees on the Z axis. Go to the move tool and let's move it back on the Y axis or the screen axis over here. Okay, so somewhere around there should be good enough. Okay, cool. Let's move it in over here as well. Okay, somewhere like there should be good. Let's move it up on the z-axis so that we can see the, the stands a little bit better. Okay, somewhere around there should be good. Next, let's bring in the coffee table. So again, file, append, go up to the coffee table. And this should also be a collection, coffee table. Let's move it up on the z-axis. Let's move it out over here. I should be closer to here. I think it's a little bit too small for a coffee table, so I'll just probably scale it up a little bit. Okay, cool. And finally, we'll bring in the pillows. So file append. Let's go to pillows. And I, I think it was just the one object. So instead of going to collection, I'll go to object this time. So as you know, with a blender file, you can pretty much uh, bring in any element from your Blender files, whether it be an object, a collection, lights, cameras, an entire scenes, uh, materials, textures, all that kind of stuff. You can import them uh, from different different Blender files, which should import nicely if you're working in Blender. Okay, so now I'm just going to position this pillow to sit nicely on this chair. So I think I'm going to do a lot of rotating and scaling, so let me just use the full transform tool and 
Let's just position this until it looks right. Right about there. Let's move it. Oops. Here. Uh, let's move it out a little bit over here. Yeah. Okay, and I want to go ahead and go to object, uh, duplicate linked. What this does is if I change this part over here, this part will also change as well. So it's not a full duplicate, it's just like an instance. This is generally good for saving memory, like if you have an entire scene. So I guess for my case, it doesn't matter too much. Select this object, we'll go to object, uh, duplicate, and let's move it constraint on the x-axis and let's rotate it around oops on the z-axis maybe around a little bit like that move it up a little bit and out okay cool and finally we'll bring in the TV stand and the TV so file append uh, TV stand object will be the TV and TV stand so append those and I want to rotate this on the z-axis by 90 degrees okay and we'll move it back on the x-axis and let's move it up so that it touches the ground perfectly okay so we have something that looks like that so now we need to position this camera so that it captures all the details well. So let's just move this on the y-axis. Maybe around about there would be good. And then let's just rotate it on the z-axis. So I'll do it from the camera view. R, Z. And let's try and get all this over here. So that we capture this entire scene over here. Okay. Maybe we'll just rotate it downwards so that it looks down like that. Perfect. So let's just give this a quickie little render just to see what it looks like. So if you want to do a quickie little render, go ahead and click this one over here, which is called the viewport shading. Straight away you see something that looks like that, which looks horrible. So we need to now fix up the lighting and shading and also the materials for the room itself.